All right, so um, how how was playing your first IRL card game? That was pretty fun. All right, it was um, really fun. Any any thoughts and comments that you have on the game, on the experience? Wow, it was like pretty easy because like it's pretty simple right now, right? Yeah. Like say. Yeah. yeah. And like it's gonna stay about this simple for the next like two or three games. Too. Uh, just uh, the only part was like the fucking effects and stuff. Yeah, I mean, but they're also pretty rare. Yeah. So it's all, even when art decks are super similar, you know, it's like it's very luck based at that point. Yeah. Um, which but, reflects the competitive game in early Yu-Gi-Oh. Everyone had basically the same deck, and it's just like who could draw the certain cards first. Yeah, yes, yeah, so it was really fun because uh, like how you how you say like all oh, luck and shit. Like, yeah. So I, at first, a thousand lose. <laughs> yeah. But then I, I put some like. Uh, it was it was crazier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, a thousand lose from like after some of your like strong monsters. So, like, yeah. Um and based off of. This one duel, uh, would you want to play more? Would you maybe even like get packs and stuff? If you were judging the, the whole game based off of this one duel that we had. Uh, yeah. Okay. For sure, yeah. Okay. And that's going to be a question that we're going to be asking Ivan at the end of uh, every episode of this, uh, Yugi No to Yugi Pro. That way we can gauge... Whoa. That way we can gauge his level of interest in the different formats that we're going to be trying. So, next up, we're going to be looking at equip spells more. We're also going to each have a field spell. And we're each going to have a ritual monster, which is a new type of monster. All right, so. so, see you guys next time. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy E-Double here. It's your boy Ivan. And we are back for... Episode 2 of UV No to UV Pro. Uh, we're gonna say this every episode. This idea was originally by TGS Anime, so shouts to you for the big inspiration. Uh, and today, we are going over two new types of cards. We're going over equip spells and ritual monsters, as well as ritual spell cards. So, equip spells, I mentioned it in the last episode. Equip spells have this little plus symbol on them. And you can think of these as like weapons. When you play them, they get attached to one monster. Oh, okay. There's no rule on how many. So you can, you know how you have five spots for your spells and traps? Yeah. If you really wanted to, you can put all five equip spells onto a single Wait. monster. Oh, you could? You could yeah. You could stack? Yeah. Oh. And you can also, um, some equip spells have a bad effect and you want to take advantage of that. You can give equip spells to your opponent's monsters too. Uh, but there, uh, help you out, right? Basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are also strategies like there's a trap card that says points that make you go up make you go down instead. So you could give your opponent a bunch of spell cards that boost. It's, it's fun. So you could give your opponent a bunch of spell cards that boost their attack, and then flip up that trap card, and then they all go down instead. Well, okay. Shit like that. Um, they don't all have to do with attack boosting. Okay. Some of them can let you do piercing damage, which is like if you attack a defense monster, yeah, you still, still do damage. damage. Yeah. Others are like this really, really powerful card Premature Burial. You have to pay 800 life points to activate it, and I'm reading it to you since it's oh, in Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. You have to pay 800 life points to activate it, and you summon any monster from your graveyard. But if this spell card gets destroyed, the monster dies. Okay. Yeah, because it's equipped with this and yeah, everything. I think that's fair. Yeah. Uh, but this card is banned, actually. Uh, it makes sense. It's been banned for a long time, and people are like, Monster Reborn isn't banned anymore. Why the fuck is this still banned? Uh, true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, pay, I yeah, guess. yeah. But that's how it goes. The other card we're going to look at for spell cards is the ritual spells. So, basically, you tribute monsters as many as you need to from your hand and from your field, however you want. Um, and you combine those monsters' levels together for your ritual monster. So, to explain it to you, right? Fiend's Mirror uh -huh. is a level 6. So, you need the monsters all together uh -huh. need to be at least 6, six stars. Okay. It, if could they, be, it could be more. Yeah, if they have to, they can be more. Alright. And... 
that's how that is. Um, they summon the ritual monsters from your hand. So it kind of counts on you having both. Um, they're not... In early, early Yu-Gi-Oh, they're not something that you can just do all the time because yeah. you have to have both of these cards in your hand. But there are monsters and stuff that let you draw. There's a lot of spells that let you draw. So those type of things and things that just shorten your deck help you get to these faster, basically. All right. Um, there's also, since we're moving into a newer era of Yu-Gi-Oh, slowly, there's a lot more effect monsters. Wait, what's effect monsters? Monsters with effects. Oh, okay. Like Karibo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that has an effect to it. Like some that have a flip, right? Yeah, effect. some have a flip, and there's a lot more of those now, too. Uh, I put a couple in this collection that we're going to be looking at. Um, there's one spell card that is very, very famous, and it's called the Gold Sarcophagus, and everybody really loves that card. Right, what, what, is, what does it do? Uh, well, you like Gold. take any card in your deck and you put it in, in the box, and two turns later you get that card. Oh, that's from the Yu Gi Oh, right? Yeah. The Yu Gi versus uh, Yang? The, the, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. he used that. Yeah. So, today, for today's episode, we have the Gold Sarcophagus. And yeah, as a matter of loud. fact, that shows <laughs> Yeah, I forgot this was a glass table. As a matter of fact, we have two Gold Sarcophagus. Is Sarcophagi. 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 So, I'm going to give you three options. Do you want to look at the sarcophagus on your left, on your right, or do you want to look at both of them? Both. Uh, left. Since I'm a lefty. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna award your modesty by letting you look at both of them. What the fuck? <laughs> Here is where we're gonna keep all the cards, and today, well, let me give the viewers a, a good look. So this one has all monsters. This one has all spells and traps, and we're gonna get a nice setup for you. Okay. And we're gonna let you build your own deck for this episode. So, there we go, get the camera angle going again. Um, the only rules are we're both going to have no more than 45 cards in our whole deck. Alright, And so No, because the minimum's 40. Oh, okay. So, and the maximum is like 60 and shit. You can have no more than 45, and then no less than 40, obviously. However many you pick, I have to pick the exact same to keep everything fair. We have... A pile of ritual monsters, which I shall show the audience. Some of these have effects, some of them don't, and other some of these are stronger than the rest, right? To keep it as fair as possible, I'm gonna shuffle this pile of rituals. And do you want are we gonna use one or two in our deck? What do you think? Uh, two. Okay. So you're oh. gonna randomly uh, two, pick two. two cards. Let me move these out the way so the fans can see. Pick two. Uh, fuck, I didn't, I didn't memorize how the card is. Wait, another one. Oh, are you going to shuffle it? Fuck it. Alright, what two did you get? Okay, which, which is the angle? Oh shit, okay. So, Hungry Burger, oh. it's okay. It has 2,000 attack. It's, it's six star. Uh -huh. Paladin of White Dragon. It's a level four, so it's really easy to summon. It does piercing damage. That's, that's pretty good. With 1900. That's and good. on top of that, if you tribute him, you can summon the blue, blue eyes. eyes from your hand or your deck. The only condition is blue eyes can't attack that turn. All right. But this is really good. Yep. So. Well, pretty sure it's better, way better than the burger. Yeah. Let me, and I'm going to keep my eyes closed for this one so you guys, because I might be able to recognize some of these by the looks. True. Get this one. So I got Crab Turtle oh, shit. What with 2550, but it's a seven star, yeah. so it needs a lot. But still, man. And I got a Hungry Burger. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh shit, I only have one spell card for that. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I gotta redo that then. Fuck. Oh, here, I'll, I'll give this to you, it's the better looking one. All right, all right. I, I only have one spell for it. It's fucking... All right. Okay, hamburger. Let's see what I... I oh dropped one. God. I'll take whatever fell. Right. That's random as shit. What's this? Oh. Shinato! <laughs> 3300. 
Bro, what the hell? Oh, uh, hell yeah. Bro, they your moths. Fucking, where Well, mines are both gonna be hard to summon. I mean, but, uh, I already have those. Too. So I have my Shenado's Ark and my Turtle Oath. You're gonna get your hamburger recipe and your Ritual de Bla Dragon Blanco. There we go. Here you go, my good man. All right, thank you. Now on to the deck building. Ivan, so here you have your whole selection of monsters, spells, and traps to choose from. I've kept it really nice for you. I've put everything that goes together next to each other. So like for example, over here, you have all your dragon stuff. Here you have warriors. You have a bunch of dark monsters if you wanted to make a dark deck. You have like cards that help with rituals. You know, then over here on this side, you have all your different trap cards. I categorized them by like all normal traps. Then towards the bottom, you have a couple of continuous plays. You have your counter traps at the end over here. Some of these only work for certain decks. Like, this card only really works if you were building this warrior deck, the six samurai guys. All right, all right. But most of them you can put in any deck you want. Okay. Over here, same thing with the spell cards. I tried my best to put everything together. Like, here's a card that works with if you built a dragon deck. Here's some stuff if you built spellcasters with your dark magician and everything. Another spellcaster card. You have equip spells at the very top. All the normal stuff in the middle. And all the way at the bottom, you have those quick plays. The ones you can use during my turn if you play them face down. All right. So take your time. You have lots of stuff to choose from. You have, like, some light monsters. You have insects. You've got machines, earth, rocks, a lot of stuff. Feel free to look at the tributes first if you want to base your deck around a certain tribute monster. And uh, take your time building your deck. We'll see you when you're done. Got it. I know how it feel to wake up fucked up. Pockets broke as hell, another rock to sell. People look at you like you's the user. Selling drugs to all the losers, mad Buddha abuser. But they don't know about your stress-filled day. Baby on the way, mad bills to pay. That's why you drink Tangeray. So you can reminisce and wish you wasn't living so devilish. Shit. I remember I was just like you, smoking blunts with my crew, flipping over. I had to get P.A.D., that's why my mom hate me. She was forced to kick me out, no doubt. Then I figured out, Nick's went for 20s down south. Packed up my tools for my raw power move. Block 19 for casket. All right, so our decks are shuffled. We're on a limited time since i um, kind of low on storage space. Lighting's not the most ideal, but let's get it. All right, get let's your go. five cards. Let's do it. Rock, paper, scissors determines who goes first. All right, we get one more? Yeah. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, sh oh, oh shit. my bad. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Fuck. Okay. I draw. There you go. All right, all right. I'm gonna set a monster face down. I'm gonna play my gold sarcophagus. Uh. I'm not gonna go get the boxes because they're way over there. So I remove from play any monster. And then, what you call it? two turns, or any card in my deck, excuse me. Two turns later, I add it to my hand. So I'll remove from play my Crab Turtle. Okay. So you can see it, Crab Turtle's removed from play. We apologize for all the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shit, yo, like, man, see, it's see all it. bad. I see your head, man. Yeah, pause. Yeah, pause. <laughs> okay. So that's a thing that we okay, did. Okay. Next, um, actually, let me move it closer over here. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna end my turn. Alright, draw. Let's see, alright. Uh... If the time runs out, we're gonna go by who has the most life points. Okay, right, put this in the fence wall. Okay. I uh, activate uh, this fucking card. Just ritual. Let's put it closer to the camera just so they can. Yeah. Alright, you already got your ritual spell. Tribute a monster who has four stars or more. Alright. 
Wait, Damn, wait, you're this. throwing away your Thunder Dragon? Yeah, fuck you it. didn't even use his effect. Fuck it. <laughs> you should have used his effect first. Now summon your ritual. Alright, uh. Alright. Turn one. Wasting no fucking time. Wait, wait, oh shit. 1900? Can he, I put it in the fence or? <laughs> if you want. Alright. But he has 1900. Wait, what? 1900 attack points. Okay, how much does the fuck does he have? Well, he's removed from play right now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't summon him. He's gonna get added to my can hand. I, can I use this part? You could also. He does piercing damage, or you could tribute him to summon blue eyes. Oh, he has, blue eyes has to be in my hand? Nope. No? Nope. He can summon blue eyes from your deck, too. Alright, so. Uh, I, I use this shit. Uh, you don't have a normal monster. Okay, I'll summon blue eyes. Fuck you. Alright, so you tribute him. Blue eyes can't attack this turn. But on turn fucking one of the duel, Ivan has his blue eyes white dragon. Alright. This shit is not looking good for me. Alright, end my turn. Alright, hopefully I can uh, get something good off of all this. Let's see. Let's get the, the shuffle going. Oh, dropped a card. Alright. I draw. And I just drew Oya de la Codicia, aka Pot of Greed. Right. I draw two more cards. Pot. Okay. Um. I play a monster face down again, and I end my turn. Alright, draw. Got that one, what the fuck? Alright, alright. Put this one the face up for you. Okay, destroyer golem, 1500. Alright, tag this one with golem. You attacked my magical merchant. And now, before he dies, his flip effect activates. Okay. I show the top cards of my deck until I get a spell or a trap card. Oh, shit. When I get a spell or trap, I add it to my hand. And all the monsters get thrown away. All right. Monster. Okay. Monster. Okay, what the fuck? Spell. All right. And he dies. I think this will put away blue eyes. You destroyed my Danipon. When Danipon dies, oh, I get to add one insect monster from my deck to my hand. And I'm gonna add my good old friend, nobody there. No, Gokipon to my hand. So that's what I'm gonna do with my move. You want to play any other cards? Uh, Are you good? Uh, and my turn, I'm good. All right, this is gonna be fucking difficult for me, but hopefully I can bust something out, something at all. All right, let's see. All right, I drop. Okay. Oh, this is the second turn, so I get my crab turtle. Oh shit. I play a monster face down. And then, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. <laughs> Say, let me see. God damn, I really don't know. Okay, I'm gonna just do this then. Shinado's Ark. Oh, what the fuck? I tribute my crab turtle oh, and my Goki Pond for Shinado, king of the higher plane. What the fuck? 3,300 attack points. Can you carry attack points? Yeah. Oh, okay. And his effect is when he kills a defense position monster, you take damage equal to that monster's attack points. Huh? What? If he kills a monster who's in defense, yeah. you take damage equal to your monster's attack. Oh my god. So he punishes you for hiding from him. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and kill the blue eyes. Oh. You take 300 damage. It's your move. All right, draw. What the fuck? I don't think I could come back. There were lots of spell cards that destroy monsters, and there's a lot of trap cards. You got some of them. I think you have like a spell fighting circle in your deck. Stuff like that. All right, fuck it. Uh, this one, okay. Okay. 
In attack mode? Yeah, why not? All right, what you gonna do? All right, so you just should. Flute of summoning dragon. All right. Summon up to two dragons from your hands. Right, another one. Uh, you, that's not how that's that works. God. Yeah, that's that you summon dragons from your hands. Wait, I get to uh. No, you just summon a dragon in your hands. Ah, uh, shit. Do right. you have a dragon? <laughs> no. Then you can't even play your flute. <laughs> I can't read. It's too dark. <laughs> <You> <laughs> All right. You wanna you wanna take that back, man? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. You take, can. Wait. Take a Your back. monster. You wanna? Cause it's in attack mode. You'll take damage. Uh. Fuck. You'll take like twenty one hundred by playing him in attack. All right. Twenty. Uh, am I turn this? <laughs> okay. I thought you would have switched him. I draw. Wait, you can still attack him though, right? Yeah, I can. But you'll take, take more damage if he's in attack mode. Because you have to think, like, oh, if they're in defense, right, I'll right. you'll take their attack points, but uh, I have 33. Wait, let me change your pass. Sure, yeah, uh, go ahead, go ahead. my guy. Okay. I flip summon the Magical Merchant again. So, same old story. I flip over the top cards until I get a spell or trap, and I throw away all my monsters. Okay. Monsta Kado. Monsta. 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 <laughs> Monsta. Trap card. Alright. Uh, Goddamn, this thing is. I'll tribute my magical merchant to summon my Hyro Coast Fix. 2400 attack points. Alright. Then, I can tribute a monster with Sphinx in its name. To special summon Exod, Master of the Guard. Okay. 4,000 defense. Zero attack. If I have an Earth monster and I flip summon it, you lose 1,000 life points. What the fuck? But seeing how I throw away most of my monsters, we'll see how that goes. I play this card face down, and Shinado attacks your golem. How much is that? You lose 15, since your golem has 15. So I've lost 1,800. Yep. It's your move. Alright, draw. There was like Dark Holes, there was Fissure, there was Monster Reborn. There was a lot of stuff that destroys cards. So at this point, you're kind of hoping you draw a Mirror Force or something. Shit. I'm also going to use my trap card, okay. Destiny Board. Every time you end your turn, I play a Spirit Message spell card from my hand or my deck. Alright. Put this face out. Yep. Put this face out. Nice. All right, end my turn. I draw. Oh, wait. Before that, uh -huh. you ended your turn. So Destiny Board plays the spell card Spirit Message I. Now I draw. All right. I am going to play this monster face down. Shadow attack. 1,500 damage. Okay. Your move. Are you gonna touch? Yeah, it's your turn. Alright, All right, please don't. <laughs> Alright, but since you ended your turn, spirit message N. Alright, now I draw. I flip summon Maui Interceptor Cannons. And since I flip some in an Earth Monster, Exod does a thousand damage to your life points. How much life points do we have in total? We have 8,000 in total. And so far, you've lost 18, 15, yeah. Maui's effect. I let him, he lets me put him face down. Fuck. Now, I'm gonna end my turn. That yep. All right, draw. Alright, uh, put this here, and my turn. I draw. Oh, at the end of your turn. Oh, well, I drew it anyways. Spirit okay. message A. <laughs> Let me shuffle real quick with the quickness. Alright, so now I draw. I will flip summon Maui. You take a thousand, and I put it back face down with his effect. Shinado attack. Damn, no trap card. You lose 15. So 
So that's uh, 68,000. Yeah. Lost. Main phase two, I summon Delta the Magnet Warrior. When I summon him, he lets me throw away any monster, in, uh, any rock monster in my graveyard. Okay. So I throw away Valkyrion. Next, by removing from play every rock monster in my graveyard, two, hell? three, four, five, this is a machine, six, seven, eight, I get to special summon my Mega Rock Dragon. Oh, and he gets 700 for every rock I banish. How many did you banish? Eight. So that's 5,600? Yep. I end my turn. I draw. The fuck? <laughs> I... Please don't end my turn. At the end of your turn, Destiny Board plays Spirit Message L. <laughs> what is that spell, Ivan? Final. When I have the final on my field, I win the duel. <laughs> When I have all five of these cards on my field, I win the duel. Fuck. Uh, GG. I had you fucked in so many ways. I know. <laughs> Could have won a few turns that would go up here. Oh, man. What did you have? See? I know two of those are flutes, right? What else did you have set? Yeah, flutes. Two flutes. A Silent Doom. Oh, a Silent Doom could have brought a... Oh, I would have killed the blue eyes. That's all. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. You bricked. If you want, like, off-camera, we can get a rematch, but that's going to be that for that duel. <laughs> All right, Ivan, um, we didn't really use that many equip spells, like, uh, at all. Most of them we didn't end up picking, but... Next time, next time. How do you feel about Ritual Monsters? Uh, it's pretty fun. And, okay. Uh, it's, like, very uh, useful. Yeah. In battle, yeah. Yeah, when you get them. Um, goods and bads. Unfortunately, ritual monsters are kind of difficult to use since you have to draw both of them. Yeah. So it's really luck based. Like if I didn't draw that gold sarcophagus spell card, I would have never been able to summon a ritual. Um, that's kind of what helped me really get it out. And then in the future, we might be able to come back to these because rituals do get better in the later Yu-Gi-Oh! But for now, that's basically all we kind of have to show Based on the duel that you had, obviously you had a little bit of a bad hand, but yeah. part of that I, is why I always say luck is a big factor in playing the game. Okay. Not just how good of a hand you get, but how good of a hand your opponent gets. Yeah. Because it's like, even if we have kind of a similar deck, I might have a good hand, but you might have a better one. I started off pretty well, but... Yeah, it was just killing the blue eyes that yeah, that yeah. did it. It was over. If I didn't kill the blue eyes, I would have for sure been fucked. Yeah. Because um, I didn't draw any of my trap cards. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't uh, get any uh, traps after, yeah. after you summoned your... Yeah, if you had like your Spellbinding Circle, your Mirror Force, a, a lot of the traps you had would have been able to stop me. Yeah. Or like if you ha at least had your Wobbacoos to stall. Yeah, I didn't even uh, draw any, like, any traps. Yeah. But how was the experience of building your deck? Building? Uh, Going through all the cards, looking at... You said off-camera you kind of looked at what looked cool to you, and that's what made you want to pick Earth Monsters, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the way they look on uh, Earth, it's like strong. Yeah. yeah. It is kind of a lot of reading at times, and the whole point of that is to say, for those of you who actually want to get into the card game, if you have a friend who actually plays, or just if you have somebody who knows stuff about the game, go to them as a guide. Because throughout the deck building process, I haven't had this question for me, that question for me, that sped things up, especially with all the reading. And you're not going to know on your first time what goes well with what until you have time to experiment. Yeah. So always go for whatever resources you have available at, at your disposal to help you build a decent deck. Um, based off of today's game, do you still think it's a fun game, and would you still maybe invest money in like buying your own deck? Oh yeah, I think it's a fun game uh, for sure. I'll invest. Uh, I would invest money on to get your own deck. Yeah. Make my own deck. Yeah. Okay, that's episode two. In episode three, we're gonna go over two very very exciting concepts. One is field spells, spell cards that affect monsters on your entire field. Okay. And we're also gonna look at 
fusion monsters. So we'll see you then. Later. GoPro, stop recording.